Hi, it's Steve again, continuing our Martin Guitar Factory tour. Here we are in the final assembly department. So this is where the two pieces will finally come together. The neck and the body have been separated this entire time through all of our manufacturing processes. So one of the first things we'll do in this area is prepare the neck to get glued into the body. So there's been a protective tape that's been applied to the fingerboard throughout our spraying processes. That's one of the first things that will come off. They'll also apply an oil and a stain to the fingerboard in this area as well. That'll help protect the wood for many, many years of wear and tear. So by the time it's done, it should look something very similar to this. Now this neck is ready to have tuning machines applied. There are many, many varieties of tuning machines. So here again, as an operator, they need to be very careful that they're one, installing the proper tuning machines and then putting them on in the proper position. So they have different tools that they'll utilize here to install those tuning machines. So here again, by the time it's done, it should look something like that. So this is our neck fit assembly area. So these are automated neck fit machines. So here again, utilizing technology to our advantage. Again, back in my day when I used to do this job, all we had was a chisel and a file to fit the neck into the body. Now we have technology to our advantage. What these automated neck fit machines will do, will load the neck and the body into the machine. What that machine will do is actually trace the outside profile of each neck. Here again, all these necks are hand sanded, so this profile could be slightly different on every single neck that comes through here. Once the machine determines the shape and size of that, it'll transfer it onto the guitar body cutting it out for us. Again, taking away a lot of the wear and tear that the operators were going through. Once the machine has made the cutout, those, that neck and body should fit together perfectly. So operators will glue the neck and the body together in this area. Once they are glued together, as you can see on the rack here, they are ready to have the bridge pocket area actually profiled. So what this machine will do, we'll load the guitar body into the machine and it will cut out the profile for the bridge to actually get glued on. So what this machine does is create this recess right here. Years ago, we used to actually have to take the bridge you were gonna glue on. We would take like an X-Acto blade and trace around there and scrape all the finish out by hand. If you were really good, you could do it in about 10 or 15 minutes. This machine does it in about 45 seconds. Now that the bridge pocket recess has been created, it's time to actually glue the bridge onto the guitar body itself. So here again, the operators in this area are actually gluing the bridge with some C-clamps and some regular white glue onto the guitar body itself. The guitars will take some time to dry and get ready to be run on the Plec machines. So what does a Plec machine do? So the Plec machine will actually take a measurement of every single one of these frets. What it wants to do is create the same height for every single fret. So it'll come through with a crowning tool and make sure every single fret's the exact same height. So that's very important as a player so that you don't get any buzzing coming from uneven frets. The other things that the Plec machine will do is create the slots inside the nut and help to create and regulate the height of the saddle as well. So one of the very, very final phases of our process is to make sure that there's absolutely no fingerprints or scratches or swirl marks or blemishes on these guitars. So these are our final polishers here. Again, using very bright lights to shine on these guitars 
uh, probably a lot more than what you have in your living room. So they're really exaggerating the amount of light that's getting poured on because they want to make sure that there's absolutely no imperfections in that finish at all. All of these folks here are working in our final infection and stringing department. So these are the folks that get to hang out and play guitar all day long. Dream job, right? Well, they do a lot more than that. These operators are our final eyes and ears on every single Martin guitar. So they need to make sure that every guitar is meeting the specifications that we're looking for. Is the finish correct? You know, is, is everything looking and sounding and feeling right with every single guitar? If they find any sort of issue, they'll make sure that they get it taken care of at this point. If everything looks good, they've installed the pick guard, Operators might even install electronics at this stage. Once everything is set up, they've got everything strung up, they'll put it inside of guitar case. It'll go inside that guitar case for a minimum of four days. So that's our four day hold period. After that four days, another operator will bring it back out and do what we call a reinspection of the guitar. That way we have a separate set of eyes looking at that guitar. If everything looks good, They'll get it ready to be boxed up and sent to our distribution center to be shipped all over the world. So that wraps up our tour. You've seen everything that uh, we have as far as our guitar manufacturing processes. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you.